Hi, I got an interesting question on Twitter from a follower um, and I thought I would give my answer and then throw it over to my audience to see what everyone else uh, thinks. So it comes from Jamie Weaver and I'll leave her uh, link to the Twitter down below and looks like um, she's a, like a STEM teacher, something like that in education. Fantastic. And she asks, how should teachers best incorporate engineering into their STEM and STEAM curriculum? How can we broaden the horizons for our students within our classrooms? And she's asking EEV blog and Alt Embedded for any suggestions. And I'm going to open to my audience as well. So if you're on the Twitters, um, leave your response down below or in this uh, comment, which a uh, comment in this video, which I'm sure she'll see as well. Now, I gave the answer. Um, down here, give kids an hour every week to work on a project of their choosing, right? Because the the obvious answer to this is, oh yeah, look, get you know, give them kits and things like that to work on, and you know, stuff like that. And hey, that's great, okay, and no problems whatsoever. We should be doing that. But a lot of kids will just think, oh, this is just another school thing, right? That I have to do, and it's you know, if you give them something sure they'll work on it and sure you might get a small percentage of kids who think that's fun and then go on to do that as a hobby or a career etc etc but what this is all about is that you're going to have a small x number of kids that already know what their passion is and they're just going to go into um, stem steam fields anyway regardless of what you give them regardless of what you do okay there's a small percentage like us right there's a small percentage you just naturally go into this but how do you get more well you don't get more by just offering them to work on something as i just said yeah you can get a smaller increase in kids that didn't know they had an interest in that sort of thing and if you give them something and they you know they might play around with it do a couple of projects or whatever and they might like it but the vast majority of kids like are just going to treat it as something else you do in school just like you do the countless other things in school so that's why i put down here to work on a project of their choosing instead of just giving them something to work on here it is if you actually let them choose that means that they have to think about it right they've got to think oh what what am i interested in Hmm, I'd love to work on a robot. I'd love to like w just play around with chemistry stuff. I'd love to sculpt something. I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that. Whatever it is in the science, technology, engineering, arts and maths, that's what STEAM is instead of just STEM. Um, you could put the arts in, a lot of people put the arts in there as well. And that's great. Um, so whatever it is, it gets them thinking what they want to do so obviously it can't just be anything it's going to be you know, something in this sort of uh, field but get them to think about something and I think if you do that then you will get a larger conversion percentage of uh, kids who will because that's something that they chose rather than something that was given to them a task that they're just you know here here it is play with it you know and we which is fun in school right that's great but I reckon if you have to make them think about it and then they chose it, they'll be more invested in it. And then you'll have a higher uptake percentage of kids who then will go on to like work on that project at home, for example. In fact, you should encourage projects that they can't that they can also work on at home as well. Let them take it home, etc., so that they can give them the resources like to play around with whatever it is they're working on and I, I just uh, threw in like one hour every week and somebody else said like it's um, uh, Z Zhang says uh, ANU that's how they do their PhB undergraduate uh, program that sounds really good um, and somebody else said um, that you know one hour is not enough and stuff like that but it's better than zero and as I said you can get a larger conversion of people working on this in their own time and that's what creates people in the field it's not just giving them stuff it's having a passion for it and if you make them think about something then the odds are they're going to be more passionate but still you know you're not going to convert everyone into stem uh you know aficionado stem hobbyists stem careers and things like that but you know it's the whole idea is finding those who didn't know that they had an interest in that or they had an interest but they were never given like the opportunity or time or encouragement to work on this sort of stuff so anyway that's my thought on it that's my answer to this question so let us know in the comments down below or over and or over on the twitterverse what you think catch you next time